Hello everyone. In this video, I'll walk you through a project where I build a data pipeline using Docker, Apache Airflow and MySQL. The goal of this project is to automate the process of loading data from CSV file to MySQL database using Airflow. Let's see the architecture of the project. The setup uses Docker Compose to manage multiple services. I have Postgres database as the Airflow metadata store a MySQL container to store our processed data and the Airflow services including scheduler, web server and initialization. Each service is containerized, making the entire environment portable and easy to set up. Let's start the project demo of automating the load from CSV file to MySQL database using Airflow and Docker. Here is my project folder. I have a DAG folder which contains DAG Python file. I have named the file as csv2mysql.py and I have data folder which contains the input file. I have named the file as people.csv. This file contains sample data that will be loaded into the MySQL. Next we have docker compose.yaml file which I used to spin up all the required services. The services like Airflow, MySQL and Postgres. And finally, we have log folder where the Airflow automatically stores the log files for each DAG run. I'm going to connect MySQL using MySQL Workbench. Currently, it is not connected. Let me open my project directory from Visual Studio Code. I have opened Airflow tutorial folder in Visual Studio Code. First, let me explain the docker compose.yaml file. This file defines all the services we need for this project like Airflow, Postgres and MySQL. Let me explain the docker compose file. At the top we are specifying the docker compose version and then we have defined different services. Our first service is Postgres. The Postgres is our Airflow metadata database where we store the DAG definition. Task status like success, failure or queued, scheduler information and user account permission. We are using Postgres 13 image and then we are setting up the environment variable for credentials and database and a volume called PG data to mount the persistent database files and finally some health checks. This is to ensure the database is up before other services try to connect. Next, we define the MySQL service. We are using MySQL 8 image. And next, we are setting up the root password and our database. My database name is testdb. MySQL is mapped to 337 port in my local machine to the port 336 in the container. Next, we are setting up a volume called MySQL data to ensure MySQL data is persistent. And then, we are doing some health check. The next service is the Airflow init service. Airflow init service installs dependencies like Pandas, SQL Alchemy and PY SQL. It initializes the Airflow database and creates an admin user and it mounts the folders like DAG, Log and Data. These folders will be in the container so that Airflow can access these folders. The next service is the web server. The web server depends on Airflow init and MySQL so that the web server will start only when Airflow init and MySQL is up. The web server uses the port 8080. Just like Airflow init service, the web server also mounts folders like DAG, Log and Data. Finally, we have the scheduler service. The scheduler is responsible for running the task. Scheduler depends on web server and MySQL. It runs the Airflow scheduler command. The scheduler service also mounts folders like DAG, Log and Data so that everything stays consistent across the containers. At the bottom, we have volumes. The volumes make sure that Postgres and MySQL data are stored outside the container. So there won't be any data loss when the container is restarted. 
Now let's see the sample file my pipeline will process. My file name is people.csv. This file contains simple tabular data about the people. I have ID, first name, last name and age. To keep it simple, I have taken only three records. Now let's go through the Airflow DAC file. My DAC file name is csv to mysql.py. The DAC file is responsible for loading the data from csv file to mysql database. At the top, I have imported the libraries. Next, we have defined a few constraints. The first one is the csv path. We have the csv file inside data folder. The table name is set as people. This is our target table name in MySQL. Next, we are defining the connection string to connect to the MySQL. Next, we have the function load CSV to MySQL. This function loads the CSV file into the Pandas data frame and creates a MySQL alchemy engine using MySQL connection string. We have set if exist equals to replace. This means that the table will be dropped and recreated each time the DAG runs. Next, we have the DAG definition. Our DAG ID is CSV to MySQL and I have set the start date as 1-1-2024 and currently the scheduler is set to none. Inside the DAG, I have created a task using Python operator and I have provided the task ID and I am calling the function load CSV to MySQL. Here is my function. So in summary, the DAG reads the CSV file into Pandas and connects to MySQL using SQL Alchemy and loads the data into the table called people. This is a simple ETL pipeline showing how Airflow can orchestrate Python code to automate data loading. Now that everything is ready, let's start the Docker container. In order to do that, I'm going to run docker compose up hyphen D. Underscore D is we are running in the detached mode. We are running the docker in the background so that the terminal will be free. The containers are all started. Let me go to the docker desktop. We have the container up and running. We have one container for the web server, another container for the scheduler. The next container is for the Airflow init. The next container is for the MySQL and the Postgres. Now that our containers are up, let me go to the web interface to monitor and run the DAG. Let me open my browser. In localhost 8080, the Airflow UI is up and running. Let me log in using my credentials. Here we can see all the DAGs and we can also see the status of the DAG runs. We can also trigger manually and we can also check the logs and the history. Before we run the DAG, let me check if I am able to connect to the MySQL database. In order to do that, I am going to MySQL Workbench and I am trying to connect using the root credentials. I have used the port 337 and I have used the root username and the credentials. Let me connect to MySQL. I am successfully able to connect to MySQL. Let me check if I am able to connect to the database. Use test DB. I am able to connect to the database successfully. Now let me go to Airflow UI and trigger the DAG manually. Here is my DAG CSV to MySQL. Let me trigger. We see that the DAG has succeeded. Let me go to activity. Now let me go to MySQL and see if the data is loaded. Select star from people. The table is successfully created and the data is successfully loaded. This project demonstrates how containerization and orchestration tools like Docker and Airflow can simplify building reproducible and scalable data pipelines. This is a practical use case 
for data engineering and DevOps workflows. I hope you like this video and I am sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in another interesting video. Thank you.